Dimatize ISO 100 Clear. This is the newest isolate protein powder from Dimatize that has no artificial colors or flavors included in it. Now, this is starting to become a trend in the industry, and you can start to see this in energy drinks as well that have eliminated you know, colors and dyes to kind of help with the overall what's actually in the product. Now, this isn't something every consumer is going to just go out there and grab for because some people don't mind having you know, the sucralose that flavors their product. Um, this one comes with stevia, which it says right on the front here. But you have to realize the chemical makeup of this ingredient profile is super simple. Hydrolyzed isolate, whey isolate, natural flavors, citric acid, sea salt, and stevia. So when most people see stevia, they're first going to associate the product with tasting bitter. Now, if any of you have tried ISO 100, you know it's probably one of the best tasting isolates that's on the market and one of the best bang for your bucks I might add in there as well. When I saw this come out, there was a pretty big demand for it, so I wanted to pick up a tub and kind of just give it a whirl and see where it sits. Um, ISO 100 has never given me any kind of digestion issues as an isolate protein powder, which it shouldn't, but um, they're also known to flavor very well. And knowing Dimatize, if they can flavor a regular isolate well, I have a lot of faith that they can flavor even something like this with no colors or dyes in it pretty damn well. So simple profile, just to get to know a little bit more about the product. But overall, I want to mix up, uh, I have the cherry watermelon flavor here because I'm a big fan of anything cherry and watermelon, especially in their aminos or their pre-workout, which I have here, the chilled fusion. So we're going to take one scoop here. Um, I personally, it says on the side of the tub it may foam a little bit. So let's see if we pick up on that as we put this in. Uh, about four, out, four to six ounces. I used um, cashew milk, almond milk, whatever you want to call it. So just like ISO 100, I mean, it's pretty straightforward there. No clumps, no debris, no nothing like that. And of course, you know, we got to pull out the uh, sampling mug here. So... Wow, that has a lot of smell to it for something that has no artificial colors or dyes in it. So, I got high hopes this is going to taste pretty dang good. And look how thick that is for an isolate. Diamantize. Wow. Cherry watermelon. Let me tell you, this has a very bold cherry t smell to it just from pouring that. So, right off the bat... The cherry taste is present. You get the tartness of the cherry. The aftertaste is when the watermelon really kicks in. Now, the watermelon isn't strong per se, but it's noticeable. I would say if you put this in a ratio, it would be about 70% cherry, 30% watermelon. And again, I'm a huge fan of the watermelon all nine aminos. So if I was you know, nitpicking here, I'd like a little bit more watermelon. But... It is flavored by stevia, so you do get a little bit of that bitterness in the aftertaste, that little bit of a kick. Now, if you're someone that doesn't want any of that junk in your protein powder and wants a very, very clean profile, it's definitely going to be the way to go. This actually surprised me in taste because going into it, I did not expect much. But Dimatize, like I said, is very, very good at flavoring. So the cherry, phenomenal. Watermelon in the aftertaste, just a little bit of that zing from the stevia. But overall, I can't complain because you're getting a very, very good product. So any other questions, comments, hit me in the comment box below. I'll have a full ingredient profile right up for you. I'll have my previous reviews, an order link, a coupon code if you want to pick some up. Overall, great job, Diamantized. Very, very pleased with all the ISO 100s I've ever tried.